What's up everybody and today we're checking out a tank size comparison. I've been doing a little bit here and there about tanks and I want to get more into it. This is a size comparison. I think it would just be kind of fun to see how big and how small they actually get. Um, this is by Gravitate. There'll be a link in the description if you want to check out the original video without me waffling over the top of it. Go ahead and do that. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on this video because it helps with that mysterious YouTube algorithm that we know nothing about, but it definitely helps with that. So please go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Turn on notifications if you want to as well. Other than that, let's pull this up. Let's shut up and let's have a cheeky peek. It's probably just going to be music. So I'm just going to keep it quiet. Also, that's tiny. The T-27 Soviet Union compared to a human. That's tiny. This Italian one's small as well. Surely they were less like a one-man thing, right? Surely it was just a one-man thing. All right, this is a little bit bigger. We've got a Nazi one here. They're still small, though. You're not going to get many people in that, are you? United Kingdom M1 combat car. Whoa, look how small that one is. All right. Holy New Zealand coming out looking like a dwarven tank. Look at that by freaking New Zealand. Bob Sam Semple tank. That's hilarious. France with another little one. Oh my God, these were really small. United States, the Ford 3-ton M1918. Got a Nazi one there. French one. I want them to keep putting the character near them so that you get a better understanding on how big the actual... Oh, there you go. So, like, look at look at the hungry one and the, the German one. Like, surely you can only get two people in there max, right? Max two people. That's mental. All right, we've got a big boy here by the United States coming out of nowhere with a giant one, the T2 tank. Italy. Okay, we're getting a bit bigger here now, aren't we? France. We've barely seen any British. Okay, this French one's the first one that's got, like, a giant cannon on it. Look at the size of that. I wish it had the year that they came out as well. Okay, look at this one. The United Kingdom FV-101 Scorpion. My presumption is it's got them character models. Maybe three people can fit in that. Another United Kingdom one, the Mark 1 tank. I bet you could probably fit three in these. The Mark 2 tank. We've got a Polish one. Yeah, you're probably going to get like three people in these now. Japanese Soviet one. That's a weird looking one, isn't it? Whoa, that's weird. Whoa. That's a strange looking tank. Why would you have the, the barrel that far down? Very weird. All right, the Japan one. Very generic looking tank. Another Japanese one. Where's the barrel on that? Like tiny little barrel up there. Look at the size of that. I guess it's not the size. It's how you use it. That's a small barrel up there, isn't it? <laughs> Holy France! What's going on there? That's a thick boy, that France. Who are you doing there with the Char D3? Chill out. There's the Argies. United Kingdom, Sherman Firefly. Interesting looking one. The Type 59. That looks a little bit more modernized, I would say. Giant barrel on it. Massive. Overcompensating there a little bit, China, aren't we? <laughs> We've got Brazil over here with a more modern looking tank. Whoa, look at that Israeli one. Why is it red? That's interesting. We've got another RG one. French one. Whoa, that French one looks weird. It almost looks like it could probably go in water, right? Almost looks like he's got the, the front of it looks like a, a hull of a ship. Interesting. United Kingdom, the Churchill tank. Interesting. French one, bit smaller, width wise. All right. We've got the Panzer V, the Nazi one. Massive tank, massive barrel. Polish one here with the Anders. Russia with the Black Eagle. All right, we're getting into more modern-looking ones now. Canada one. Look at the girth of that barrel. Canada, what are you doing? It's really short and girthy. A little stubby boy there, Canada. Chill out, Canada. All right. Poland here with an older-looking tank again. 
German with this absolutely massive A7V. I've seen these before in Battlefield 1, I'm pretty sure. Am I wrong there? Someone let me know. Battlefield 1, can't you get these in them? Has barrels on the sides. The Char M4 by France, another modern looking one. Japanese Type 2. That again looks like it could go in water. Like the bottom of it looks like it could go in water. United Kingdom, the Churchill tank again. A bigger Churchill tank. Uh, the Mark IV tank, the British. Looking good. Type 99. That looks like a very modern tank. Very modern. I wish it had the dates on them. Czech Republic. Big one. United Kingdom with a Mark C. That's a weird looking tank, isn't it? Oh, wait. I've seen them before. I think that's also on Battlefield 1. Or Battlefield 2. No, sorry. Battlefield uh, 5, which was World War 2, wasn't it? All right. We've got the Panther German right there. Mo another modern one. Israeli one. These models are strange when they go red. MBT-70. Here's the modern ones. Look at the size of them compared to the people now. <clears throat> Why has it gone like that to the small one again? That's weird. Soviet T-35. Whoa, look at that Russian one. That's a big one, isn't it? Holy France, look at that. Massive barrel. Oh my God. United Kingdom. Tortoise heavy tank. That is a heavy tank. What are you putting in there? What are you putting in there? You can have a dinner party in there. Look at the size of it. Massive. About 20 people could sit in that. Croatia here with a massive one. UK Tog 2. India with a big one as well. Holy. Whoa. Look at this German Panzer. Massive. Massive. Oh my God, China, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, wow, look at that. This is when the US with the steam tank was just being nuts and being like, let's just go Mad Max style. What's going on here with our short stubby barrel? Couple of missiles on the back by the looks of it or smoke things or summer. We've got mini guns in each corner. Why not? And then we'll put some big spiky boys on the front. Just for shits and gigs. Do you know what I mean? Fuck. T-14 Russian tank. Another big one. We've got the Nazi VK-45. Massive barrel. He ran. He drove, more like, in that thing. <laughs> he drove. <laughs> oh, he ran. No, he drove. He drove the tank. <clears throat> that one got me that. That was a good one, that one. He ran. No, he drove. He drove. <laughs> France building a city on, on tracks. <clears throat> the Soviet Union, that killed me, that. Oh, that killed me. Oh, my God. Look at the size of this. Look at this big box that the Russian made. The Russian made. Look at that box. Listen, guys, we'll make a big box. Put a barrel on it. Big barrel, big box. Squared away there. Easy. Imagine that tipping on its side. Russia, what are you doing? What's that? What's that? What are you doing? Why has it got massive wheels? Where are you going? What are you doing? All right. What's going on with this German tank? There's no way that's real. I do not believe that that's real. 115 feet. I don't believe that's real. Surely not. How many people are in that tank? Look at the size of the barrel. You could take a nap in it. There's no way that's real. Surely not. The Land Cruiser P1000 Ratty. There's no way that's real. Good video. Good video. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I, I really enjoyed the joke I made about Iran. Oh, that was a good joke, that. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you like my shit jokes. The, <laughs> the link to the original video will be in the description. Don't forget to go check it out. Other than that, that's it, guys. I've got nothing else to say. I love you all. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.